Now, as any parent knows, from the second your baby's born, you do have that constant fear of something happening to them. Uh, imagine if your child wasn't breathing. Would you know what to do? And our first guest today is here to tell us about the simple steps that could help save your child's life. Please welcome TV presenter Laura Hamilton. <laughs> mum of two young children, Rocco, who's two, and mm -hmm. Talia's about eight, eight months, months, who we saw, yes. he's gorgeous. Rocco's here, but he was he had to wander yeah. off, hadn't he? <laughs> he's turned around, he got camera shy. Oh. Now, you oh, don't... There he is. Oh, oh he's gorgeous. Oh, it's my way well, well, Hello, oh. wave to mummy. Oh. Um, and actually, it was something that happened with Rocco that, that's really frightened you to, yeah. and then made you help in this campaign. Yeah, and, um, well, I mean, basically, he was just under one, and I'd, we'd never had any problems. He'd always been a really mm. healthy child. And he just went completely floppy. I mean, Ooh. even now, like talking about it, oh, it makes yes. me kind of yeah. nervous. He went completely floppy. His breathing got really heavy and started to slow down. And Alex, my husband and I, just kind of, we were like, well, what do what we do? do? We, don't, yeah. we, we don't know what to do. We know nothing. And <laughs> I was saying this to somebody yesterday, but you're in hospital and there's a massive amount of pressure on you to breastfeed, 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 yes. breastfeed. But for me, they never said you should think about learning baby first aid and baby oh. CP mm. CPR. It was never, ever something that they said you should do. And so, you know, Rocco was rushed to hospital. The NHS were amazing. An ambulance came within three minutes and we were in hospital and he actually had a viral infection. Right. But it was one of the scariest times yeah. because we just felt completely useless. It made you think about, um, you know, what we'd have done if that ambulance hadn't have been there. Yeah. And babies are so fragile and little, aren't they? Yeah. And, and you don't know what to do. So you've, you're now involved with the St John Ambulance Campaign, which is called Nursery Rhymes Inc. Yeah. Um, and this is to show people what to do if a, if a young baby stops breathing. breathing. Yeah, because 75% of parents say a baby stopping breathing is their Number one biggest fear. Mm. cause. Yeah. And only one in four parents actually know... What to do. Yeah, wow. exactly. The thing well, is, when I had Jet um, in hospital in France, he was there long because he had sleep apnea, right. which is, you know, when they what stop breathing. It's like when they stop breathing, you sort of have to nudge them to remind them to breathe again. <sighs> which I, so I know how you come on that, but the interesting thing, when um, Bunny left hospital, they made us do CPR to teach us it. But was that because you had a, the experience first No, they time just around. make you when you discharge, that's what wow. they do. But I think oh. it's important. But I must admit, although I've done it, I've forgotten how to do it. I bet you I don't know practice. in an emergency. Yeah, I bet it would just it would be a surprise. I forgot you had to put your mouth over the baby's no, nose yes. and mouth. So with yeah. an adult, it's just the mouth, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, because if you just breathe in through, if you put the air through the mouth, it can come out through the nose. So it's then totally, mm. totally pointless. And obviously, with an adult, you pinch mm. the nose, but you can't do that with yeah. a baby. And it is up to the age of one. Mm. Well, they so. had a similar campaign last year about choking, yeah. which I know was very successful, and a lot of people have said, oh, that ch saved my mm. child's life, because, you know, the toddlers, you know, it's like they put everything okay. in their mouths. Um, it's the St John Ambulance campaign, Nursery Rhymes, and we've put that also... Um, a that's on our Facebook page, and also a demonstration, a proper demonstration of how to give CPR to a baby also on our Facebook page. Very important. Uh, lovely to see you, oh, and I you. hope you don't have any other horrible <laughs> incidents with those beautiful Fingers children crossed. of yours. Nobody wants to Laura Hamilton, everybody. <laughs>